Hey guys, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up the Fedora package manager. So you may not realize it uh, if you use Fedora and you don't really pay attention to how the terminal and the package manager works, but DNF is kind of slow. It's a great package manager. It has a lot of improvements over the years, and it's definitely better than what Fedora used to use, but it's not as fast as, say, you know, apt or pacman or even zipper. And the reason for that is because of how it's built. You can actually improve the speed of it. You can't make it light speed, but you can make it a lot faster. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So to start off, you need to upgrade to the latest release of Fedora. So I'm running Fedora 30 right now. It's generally been my distro of choice as of the last year. It's just reliable and gives me what I need, but upgrade and you can learn how to upgrade in the article that I wrote and uh, make sure you have the latest updates installed. I have gone through the process of installing package updates. So now I'm ready to get started. So to get started, open up a terminal and open up the DNF configuration file. Now from there, you move all the way to the bottom of the file. And the first thing you need to add is the fastest mirror. So to do that, we will put in fastest mirror equals and then true. Now this will automatically force your DNF package manager to pick the fastest mirror to download packages from, which as you can probably guess, will make it download a lot faster. The second thing you need to do, and uh, first we should save our edits, move down once again, and uh, you need to add in the max parallel downloads and change it to the number 10. You can also set it to five, but basically it will allow the DNF package manager to download many more files at once. So say you're downloading 700 updates instead of DNF downloading a couple at a time, you can tell it to download 10 at a time and 10 is obviously more than like one, two or three. So that's gonna drastically improve speed. So to do that, we will do max parallel downloads and then just add 10. And if you don't want 10, you can always set it to five, but I highly recommend 10. You can then save it and then we can go ahead and try and install something. So I'm gonna install Midori, the uh, web browser. So sudo dnf install Midori. Now what it will do is it should automatically sort based on mirrors, which initially should take a bit because it's gotta refresh all my, my packages, but it'll then download and go a lot faster. Now, obviously this is still gonna be constrained by how fast your internet connection is, but on the back end, it's a lot faster. And uh, as you can see, we've already discovered the packages, which should nor normally take a little bit longer and the downloads much, much faster. And uh, we've already got it installed. And now we can just launch our app. And uh, it's just like that. And uh, you know, it's a comparable difference, especially if you're on a slow internet connection, but also just because Fedora, though it is a reliable operating system. And again, I have recently switched to it from Arch over the years and Debian, just because I always come back to it because it's such a reliable distribution and I like how DNF works, but DNF has a huge pain point and arguably it's just its speed. So with these little improvements, you can make it run a lot better. So if you guys use Fedora, I definitely recommend doing this. Even if you don't, if you even if you're not like measuring the speed and you can't see a tangible difference, trust me, it will make a big difference, especially with those big updates. Anyways, guys, I gotta get going, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.